So great to have you with us on a beautiful night at Pete Biden Field at Bob Bennett Stadium. The field looks outstanding. All natural grass, real dirt, 330 down the lines and left and right, 400 to straightaway center, 375 in the alleys. And a pretty stiff breeze blowing out to left at the moment. We'll see if it stays that way. Starter to go on the off speed. Went around, picked up by Davis, who throws him out at first. So Dixon comes right out of the gate by striking out Joe. One down, bases empty for one of the most respected hitters in college baseball. Brought his River Park Little League team to the park today. Schneider with a good swing, but robbed on the left side by Neednagel who leapt in the air, stretched out the glove, and made a juggling snow cone-style snag. Tonight, so. <laughs> Tommy Hopfe <laughs> steps up and grounds it towards short off one hop. Joe to second for one. The relay to first is in time. Hopfe hits into a double play for the second time in a row. Thanks on the Falcons. All-American Jay Thomason, and he swings past the fastball from Ariola. Put that behind me. I, the last <laughs> conversation I had with that was with my therapist. But This ball in the air know, toward Jared. left. Well, and out of here. Grady Morgan slicing it out the other way. His team leading fifth bomb of the year, the 14th of his Bulldog career. That's only 30 away from Jordan Rivera on the all-time list. And the Dogs lead it 3-0 in the bottom of the seventh. What a good at-bat. He takes a good first pitch breaker. About a half a run here in Fresno. Yeah. First pitch fastball swung on by Zapp and launched in the air to left. Hit well. Pepe back to the wall. Runs out of room. And Walker Zapp has gone yard for the Falcons. The first two runs allowed all season by right-hander Vic Ariola, And the Birds are within a run in the top of the eighth inning for Walker Zapp, the catcher, his second home run this season. Go aboard at first. Three to two Bulldogs, top nine. Kula Singham swings and hits one in the air to right. Hit well. Morgan runs out of room and it's gone. So Sam Kula Singham has given Air Force its first lead of the night. His first home run of the season. A two-run bomb after the leadoff walk. And Hopfe for the second outing in a row has given up the deep ball to right field. So now the dogs are going to have work to do in the bottom of the ninth. They had not trailed all night until that. So that means the Bulldogs, even if they lose, would still be in second. They can move into a first place tie with a win. It's off Gehring's glove. Behind there, Joe comes up with it. His throw to first is in time. The shift works again for Air Force. The Falcons on the strength of two in the eighth and two in the ninth flip this game upside down and steal it from the Dogs. They maintain sole possession of first place and now hold a two-game lead over Fresno State, New Mexico, and Nevada. The Dogs are going to catch the Falcons this weekend. They'll have to win the final two games of the series.